In this video, we're going to look at mastering sounds for export from Pro Tools. Some of you may be familiar with the term mastering as it applies to the music industry. In game audio, mastering is a bit more simple. Generally, we're just looking to maximize dynamic range so that when the file is exported and implemented in the game, it sounds as good as possible. There are two basic tools that we use for mastering game audio. The first is an ultra maximizer. An ultra maximizer is basically a brick wall limiter with a look ahead buffer. This permits the process to function with virtually zero attack time. In conjunction with a very accurate ceiling control, this enables us to push the dynamic range extremely close to zero dBFS without clipping. There are a variety of ultra maximizers available for use in Pro Tools. We'll primarily be using Maxim, which is free with all Pro Tools systems. Here's a basic example of what Maxim can do. Let's take this simple dialog clip and run it through Maxim. With the clip selected, I'll go to Audio Suite, Dynamics, Maxim, and the plugin interface will open. The first thing we'll do is set the ceiling to minus 0.1 dB. Then we'll use the threshold control to add gain to the signal. I didn't know that. By referencing the meters, you can see they were able to push the signal right up to the ceiling without any noticeable artifacts. Then we can click the render button, and we can see by looking at the results in the clip that we're now making use of our full dynamic range. The second tool that we use for mastering game audio in Pro Tools is Dither. Generally, your Pro Tools session bit depth will be 24 bits, but your destination file bit depth may be 16 bits or 8 bits. Anytime you're outputting a file to a reduced bit depth, you should use Dither. Dither is a process that adds noise to the signal to minimize the low-level quantization errors that occur when you're reducing the bit depth. The result is a file that actually manages to preserve some of the additional dynamic range that the higher bit depth was able to provide. In Pro Tools, you should use the Power Dither plugin, as it contains the most advanced Dither algorithm available. The Dither plugin is almost always inserted as the last insert on the master fader. We'll leave Power Dither with the default settings. These settings will be discussed in additional detail in a subsequent video. Once the dither plugin has been inserted, we're ready to bounce to disk to create our final file at the reduced bit depth. 